Hey, welcome to Polk Place. I'm Brian Lacey. Joining me in studio is uh, Captain Greg Gort. He's with the Polk County Sheriff's Office Special Operations Division. He's over the division. Uh, Captain Gort, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having me. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Well, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Special Operations Unit. For those that might not know, it's an all-encompassing unit. We're going to talk specific, but for those that might not know, Tell me just some of the things that's under the Special Operations Unit. Well, we have a, a wonderful amount of men and women that work in the Polk County Sheriff's Office that you see every day that are answering calls for service, but supporting them behind the scenes are the Special Operations Division, and we are comprised of many different units. We have the canine unit, traffic unit, uh, aviation unit, our environmental crimes unit, agricultural unit, our honor guard, and we have the marine unit. And with uh, a county of over 554 lakes, I believe it is. Three, 381 are actually named, but yes, about 500. Yes, yeah. total. So, and and you guys are um, you guys are tasked with with uh, monitoring a lot of those lakes and and some of the things that, that that really people may not realize. What does your marine unit do? Well, simply the, the, the folks that are assigned to our Marine Unit are simply the best. They work hand in hand with Fish and Game um, and all of our other partners in law enforcement, but they are tasked with going out on our waterways within Polk County and basically keeping everybody safe. They're not there to ruin anybody's day. They're not there to, you know, go out and specifically write tickets or put people in jail. They're there to make sure that everybody has fun, but does it safely. Now, unfortunately, just like everything else in the world, sometimes people don't know the rules or they do know the rules and choose to break them and that's why we're there is to stop them so they don't ruin the day for everybody else. Uh, I see the boys out on the water all the time along with fishing game. I live in Winter Haven, spend a lot of time on the chain and uh, always doing a good job. I want to talk a little bit about one of the things that you guys really try and, and get to the boaters out there is safety and, and part of that safety is an inspection that you do with the boats. Let's talk about really state the obvious, the, the importance of, of safety on the water. You know, I, I feel like, you know, we're surrounded by water on both sides of the state. We're surrounded by water with the lakes, but I think a lot of times we, we take safety for granted. Yes, sir. Talk about the importance of that, if you would, please. Well, similar to in a car, you know, I know sometimes that people don't like to put on their seat belts, but you know, you, you have to put on that seat belt because it's not for, you know, you can be the best driver in the world. I'm worried about the other guy. You know, um, but same thing in a boat. In a boat, you don't have the luxury of seat belts. So what you do have is you have a, a, a PFD, a personal flotation device. And we highly recommend that you always wear it. Now, the law, law requires that if you're inside a boat, if you're six years or younger, you must wear it at all times. But if you're older, you just have to have enough PFDs uh, for every individual in the boat. But we really suggest you wear it at all times because you don't know when an accident's going to occur. You know, you don't know when you're going to hit a sandbar. You don't know when another vessel is going to hit you. You don't know when that person who unfortunately is boating under the influence is going to decide to strike your vessel. And you're not going to have time to grab that device and throw it on. You're going to be flying out of the boat. And we want you to live and be able to recover from that incident. I want to talk a little bit about education. The um, state of Florida has, has put together a program for the younger crowd for them to be able to drive boats. But it, it's also for those that, that have, that have, you know, maybe a first time boat owner. You know, I, I, I ride motorcycles mm -hmm. and I've been through the beginner's course. I've been through the advanced course. I've been through the bagger course and I've been through the crotch rocket course. Mm -hmm. Perfect practice makes perfect. Talk about the importance of having these classes for people either to learn or refresh. Right. Even though, uh, perfect example is when I came into law enforcement, you know, I, I rode motorcycles as well. And you think, you know, hey, I've ridden it, I can do well. But when I came to law enforcement, I actually rode a police motorcycle, is a totally different game. There was things I had no idea about. And like you said, if you take more classes, you just become more educated and you make safe practices. You know, since January 1st of 1988, it's been a law that you have to attend that boater safety course. So anybody that's 34 or younger, it's mandatory that before you operate a vessel in the state of Florida, you've got to have this boater safety course. And then anytime you're in the boat, you've got to have a photo ID and you have to have that boater safety ID card or you're in violation. I want to talk a little bit about, as with everything, being prepared. Even if you're going out on the water, um, being prepared and, and you know, I think, what do you got? 20 some 
27 lakes in the chain and and basically all of us do the same thing you know mm -hmm. go down through one ride around through another sit for a while ride around through, you know what i mean right. but talk about the importance of being prepared having everything that you need on that boat you know not only personal flotation device but what happened what about a phone you know just in case of an emergency talk about being prepared Yes, especially right here in Polk County. Whenever we are going to go out on the boats, the first thing I ask is when you park your vehicle at the boat ramp, make sure you lock it. We have so many people that don't lock their vehicles and they become victims, unfortunately, while they're out there trying to enjoy the waterways. But once you're on the boat, also make sure that you do have a cell phone. Anywhere in the chain or anywhere on most of our lakes in Polk County, you're going to be able to reach a cell tower. That's the easiest way for us to get a hold of, or for you to get hold of us, or us to call you back if you call and, and we lose connection with you. Also, understand on your phone how to get your navigational coordinates, your GPS coordinates. That way you can relay these to us and we can have a helicopter come out, uh, you know, we can have a boat come out, we can try to locate you if you're in distress. Have those PFDs, those personal flotation devices, either on you or in the boat, uh, a fire extinguisher, um, some type of signaling device. These are all things that are required by law that you have to have on your vessel when it's in operation. Some type of horn or bell so that you can warn other individuals. Um, and just, you know, have respect for other folks. Don't, you know, don't fly through the waterways. Don't be, uh, especially canals. I mean, you're supposed to be at idle speed when any time in the Polk County it's under ordinance. Uh, whenever you're going through the ca canals or within 150 feet of the shore. Um, you know, don't, uh, a lot of people on these personal watercraft love to rev them up at high speeds and go through the wake and they're jumping yeah. things. You may actually be subject to arrest in some circumstances when you're doing things like that because it places you as well as the others in danger. As you said, uh, common courtesy, Board of County Commissioners, City of Winter Haven have put a lot of money into uh, uh, places where you can put boats in. Mm -hmm. Quickly talk about the importance of getting your vehicle, getting your boat in the water, and getting out so the next person can get in, or getting your boat. Talk about the importance, because there's always a long line, and there's always somebody there that's... Right, and, and just like on the roadways, at a boat ramp, frustration builds to, you know, worse things happening. Uh, I'm not the best person at backing a boat trailer in, so practice, 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 maybe at home or a neighbor's driveway, uh, practice on backing up a hill or down a hill or whatever it is so that you can be a little more proficient, but, and also practice on hooking the boat up and unhooking the boat. Um, you know, have somebody with you so they can drive the boat off and then you can immediately go move your truck back in the trailer because, again, everybody wants to have fun. There, is a long, there are long lines. I mean, we've got 4th of July coming up and everybody's going to be on the waterways. So, uh, like you said, get in there quick, safely remove the boat, remove your vehicle, and then start your fun day. But make sure you lock that vehicle as well. <laughs> Exercising good judgment. Uh, on the chain, there are so many great places. Stop and have lunch. If you're going to enjoy an, an adult beverage, talk about the importance of having that driver, having somebody else drive the boat. I, I totally agree with you. You know, there's nothing against the law about you if you're 21 years or older about having an adult beverage, as we say. Um, but it is against the law for you to get behind a wheel when you're impaired, whether it be in a car or on a boat, uh, and operate it. Um, you know, if you're, if you're impaired and we stop you, you're most likely going to jail. We have a zero tolerance when it comes to being impaired on the waterways because it can hurt you as well as other folks. Um, if you're under 21, you know, that level drops to 0.02. You know, everywhere else on a car or on a boat, if you're 21 or older, it's 0.08. If you're on that boat and it's 0.02, you're, you're just as uh, considered impaired as you are if it's at 0.08. Well, Captain Gork, I want to thank you for coming in and sharing the information with us today. And anytime that you guys got anything coming on, the seat's yours. Come back and see me again, will you please? I greatly appreciate it. We'll be out there on the waterways this weekend, so hopefully we'll see you. <laughs> with more than 11 million recreational vessels registered in the U.S., millions of Americans are enjoying time on and in the water. Now, the key to staying safe is being prepared and using the appropriate equipment, whether enjoying a ride on a motorized boat paddling or kayak or wakeboarding. Life jackets are the core of safe boating, whether using a motorized or non-motorized vessel. The Polk County Sheriff's Office wants you to enjoy our 550 lakes that we have to offer. So when you're out there, make sure you're safe this season.